Welcome back to my kitchen. If you are new here, my name is Christine. Today I want to take you back and show you how to make ribs in the crock pot. They are so delicious, super easy. They turn out so tender and flavorful. Come with me, let's get started. The first thing you want to do is make sure your ribs are nice and clean and dry. Here you can see I am pulling off the membrane that is on the back of the ribs. Once you get it started, just be patient, but get that whole piece pulled off. It's an important step in this process. I'm going to cut this slab in half. These are spare ribs. I'm going to cut them in half so that they fit in my crock pot. Next, I'm going to make a rub for the ribs starting with brown sugar. Korean red chili powder, I will link this down below. It's one of my very favorite products. That was supposed to be two teaspoons and I put two tablespoons. Oh well, don't make that mistake. I will include down below in the description box the full written recipe with the correct measurements. Don't do that. Paprika garlic powder, onion powder, and thyme. Next, I just take my rub mixture and get it really well rubbed into the rack of ribs. And I really pat it in and just really try to get it really well coated over all the surface area of the ribs. And then I will flip them over. Make sure you do both sides. Oh, I forgot salt and pepper. Oh. I washed my hands. I'm just going to do, I would mix it right into my rub, but I forgot to add it, so. I'm just going to do this, salt, pepper, I'm going to flip it over again. Okay, while we're at it, salt this side. Okay, now everything's salt and peppered. <laughs> oh. Back to the rub, which should have the salt and pepper in it, but it doesn't. Let's get this in the crock pot. Wash hands again. Next, we are going to put a slab down. And for this recipe, you need a cup of your favorite barbecue sauce. A lot of times I make my own barbecue sauce. I have some videos on that. I can link them down below. Other times I love this one. This is the Kinder's Honey Hot. I love this stuff, highly recommend it. So put half of it on this slab and brush it on so all of your ribs get nice and coated. Ooh, this smells good. Grab the other slab, pour the rest of the sauce on. We are going to cook this on low for eight hours. It looks so good already. This took no time to throw together. Dinner is essentially done. 
I'll see you back here a little later. Look at that, friends. This turned out so delicious. The ribs were super tender, juicy, and flavorful. And it was all so simple and so easy to throw together. I like to serve this with french fries or baked potatoes and a big fresh salad. I just want to say thanks for joining me in the kitchen today. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, I can pop another video right here for you to check out between now and my next upload. Please subscribe to my channel. Give this video a thumbs up. I upload every other day and I can't wait to see you next time.